Hey, what's happening everyone? Journeyman here and welcome back to the Harry K team. Today's episode 4, we take on Porto and Man City in two very, very tough games early in the season. And once again, everyone, welcome back to the Harry Kane team. This is episode four. Today we take on Porto in the Champions League opening day game, and when we take on Man City in the Premier League. So there's been no games in between the last episode and this one today. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the team news for the game against Porto. So we're pretty much going to uh, we're going to pretty much lead with the same side that beat Manchester United last time out to one. Um, Son keeps his place in the team despite a very very mediocre display. And I've also made some changes as well to the set pieces. Um, <clears throat> I noticed that uh, when you start the game, unfortunately, the set pieces are set to default, which is kind of a weird bug where everyone's just set to get forward. So basically, they all end up in one big long line at the edge of the box. So to pretty much fix it, you just go in um, without the set piece. Obviously, Creator um, hasn't been available since uh, 2016. I'm disappointed they haven't really updated this at all. It's kind of an annoying way to do your set pieces, and it's not as much detail as I thought, as I'd like it to be, to be honest with you. But um, anyway, that's a different story uh, for a different day. So uh, anyway, I fixed the set pieces, so that should give us a little bit of a competitive edge over Porto. So let's take a look at our opposition today, um, obviously led by uh, Sergio Conte Sal. Uh, the uh, former winger, I think it was a winger back in the time. Uh, they're going to be about Ica Casillas today, as we know. The uh, Spanish goalkeeping legend, he is out injured. He's going to be out for two to six months with a broken ankle. Uh, deputizing in spot, it's going to be Ventura. Um, looks like a pretty promising, okay goalkeeper. 29 years old, 13 appearances in the 21 team. Never actually played for his uh, country, full caps. Um, goals wise, take a look. Uh, they've. Uh, Alberto Bueno is a uh, striker, as you know, an advanced playmaker, can actually play up top as well. Um, I mean, it looks okay. I mean, there's no one in this team that really actually scares me. I'm looking down the list here. I'm not really recognizing any faces that I'm really, honestly, too afraid of. Um, so honestly, going into today's game, I think uh, we should be able to uh, get a very, very positive result. The one player I might want to keep an eye on, though, is uh, Vincent um, Abubakar who actually played really well in FM17. Uh, I actually most recently played him, believe it or not, in the uh, Europa League with Southampton. And he, I think he scored 17 goals in the competition that year. Um, so this guy this guy might be a promising player um, to keep an eye on if you guys want to sign a striker uh, with immense physical capabilities, as you can see from his strength and his pace and acceleration. So, uh, going into today's game, as I mentioned, we're keeping pretty much the same team. The only player missing is going to be uh, Deli Ali. He is suspended for today's game. So, all right, let's get it going. It's our first game in Europe on Foot Manager 2018. Obviously, uh, we're all pretty excited. Um, hopefully, we'll get off to a good start today. But I'm not afraid to, uh, to mix things up if need be as well. Oh, that is very, very, very loud. Apologize for that. Let's go turn that down right now. Much, much better. Okay, sounds good. So, yeah, I've noticed the sound is either um, pretty much zero or a thousand. There's no in between at all. Um, all right, so um, let's get this uh, let's get this game going. Obviously, uh, we are playing at home today at Wembley. Although I'm not sure what Tottenham fans can call it home officially. Uh, this kind of rent in the stadium for a year while White Hart Lane gets kind of revamped, I guess the word is, but it's not really because you move. A little bit to the left from the, uh, the images of the uh, of the construction and things like that. So, um, anyway, let's get to the game in hand. Here's Christian Eriksen to Mario Götze. He's had a pretty solid start to his career here. Not many assists as I would like. His son, back to Davis, to Ben Davis. Mario Götze. That's what I expect him to do really well in Europe this year. There's son and gets his first goal of the season. Gets in there. And a very good assist there for Mario. Uh, that's his, I think, second assist of the season so far. So, um, yeah, good start to this game. 11 minutes in, leading 1-0. Couldn't ask for a better start, really. All right, here's a chance now for Porto from the set piece. Ball is whipped in. Vitona makes the clearance. Uh, here's Andre at the edge there. That's a great save there from Loris in goal. He's obviously a superb goalkeeper. He's potentially the best goalkeeper in the league, in my opinion. Up there with uh, David De Gea. Oh, there's an effort from Harry Kane on the counter-attack, and it goes over the bar harmlessly. But as I was saying, yeah, Hugo Lloris, I definitely think he's up there alongside uh, David De Gea and uh, Courtois. I mean, they're all 
quality, quality keepers. Goalkeeping is definitely is not a depth issue in the Premier League this season. There's a number of highly skilled goalkeepers. Um, <clears throat> his goal set to Son, to Dyer, to Harry Kane, surely 2-0. And it is Harry Kane gets his fourth for the season. Um, leading goal scorer, as you would expect, for Harry Kane so far. Four goals in uh, four games for him. Oh, five games now, I think. Five games. So four and five. Still a pretty good return. Uh, Son to Dyer this time, getting forward, playing in that new uh, Kawalawa role. Which um, I'm learning a bit more about every single game I play. Um, although it says you work pretty much laterally across the field, um, you also work it a little bit vertically. I expected to play a little bit more um, up and down, like kind of side to side, but it's actually a kind of a mixture of the both. So you're going to have to get a very fit player to play that. And Eric Dyer's done a pretty good job so far. Um, so going into the halftime, we are winning 2 0 here. Things are going really, really comfortable for us. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the lads that, and everyone gives me a nice thumbs up. They are listening. Everything's going really well so far. 2 0 up here, and it's looking increasingly comfortable. Obviously, we'll make some changes in a second just to freshen some legs up. All right, so there has actually been an injury. It's going to be to Eric Dyer, unfortunately. I mentioned how well he was doing today. Um, so instead, we're going to bring on Harry Rinks, and we're going to play him as a deep line playmaker. Uh, we we'll have him on support as well. He can support the uh, front four uh, if necessary. Obviously, with that in mind, Yama is going to have to play a little bit more of a sweeper role. But I want to give Harry Rinks a chance. He hasn't really had a chance under me yet, and we know what a quality young English talent he is. So if anything, we could sell him for like, I don't know, 60 million pounds in the future just because he's English. Because um, we, we all know how grossly overpaid or overvalued English players are. All right, um, all right, so make a quick change here. Ericsson, honestly, he's been poor and his condition's getting worse every game. So here we go. Dembele's going to come in there. Um, he can play as an advanced playmaker. That works out for everyone. Uh, ben Davis also picks up a knock today. So uh, we're going to bring on uh, Davison Sanchez and we'll move for Tonin to play left back so yeah that looks nice we'll do that and we'll just see out the rest of this game be honest with you because there's not much happening in the second half whatsoever in fact here is the first highlight right on cue uh, Maxi to Corona the Corona can tackle there for Tone and they'll play at left back uh, go to uh, Dembele Dembele to Sun plays it out wide to Kieran Trippier Trippier gets brought down there, and uh, that was a very, very awkward-looking animation. <laughs> he's only a yellow card, so it looks like he's going to get a red, so it's going to be a sending off here uh, for Porto. And uh, they'll go down to uh, 10 men for the last 10 minutes of the game or so. Not like it really mattered anyway. They never really threatened us today, uh, as you can see from the match stats in the middle of the screen. Uh, here's another, here was a chance. Sanchez is going to get this ball clear. First time out there for Davis and Sanchez, his son to Dembele. Dembele is going to look for the memory on the Halle Kane. That's a fantastic run for Musa Dembele. He's a man on a mission. And what an assist that was for Harry Kane. And 3-0 uh, up, two goals for Harry Kane. But that was an unbelievable assist there for Musa Dembele. I mean, he just turned on the Jets. That was uh, definitely turbo mode on FIFA. You know, spamming that R2 button, getting to the byline, putting on the back, and Harry Kane couldn't miss from there. So 3-0. Uh, All right, things are going very, very smoothly to start this episode. Here's a length chance, maybe for Porto. Danilo to, um, to Morega. Morega to Corona. Corona's gone by Vertonen there. He gets to the byline, pulls it back, and Loris kind of tips it behind. I've got to say, I've not been overly impressed with some of the animations this year's match engine. Uh, keep in mind, though, it is still the beta. Uh, we're still a few weeks away now. Well, actually, a little bit less than two weeks away now for the uh, official full release. And I do expect a lot of patches for the year, especially in the match engine, and especially to do with those animations. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, got about a minute left now of uh, extra time. There was a lot of acts to be played. Five minutes, kind of surprising. Not much action in there. The ref uh, put five minutes up, but uh, it's not like it's going to matter. It's going to end up in a victory. All right, there it is. Full-time whistle has blown. Um, one out, 3-0 winners. Very, very comfortable in the end. Uh, they never really threatened us at all. So much, much, much more comfortable than I honestly anticipated. I expected this game to be very, very tough. But we do have a much tougher game at the weekend. That's against Man City at home. Obviously, I'll have to get a win there. And we'll do the double over the Manchester team. So that'll be a, a really, really good way to start the season. Speaking of good ways to start the season, this is not really. Uh, we're going to be out about Ben Davis for the game at the weekend. He's going to be out four to six days. Um, that puts a little bit of a conundrum because we don't have uh, Danny Rose yet back from injury. 
Um, Eric Dyer is also going to be at one to two days. He's probably going to be a fit for the game in the weekend, so I'm not overly concerned about him. All right, so here we go, uh, just before the game against Man City, and we have another piece of injury news. Uh, Christian Eriksen's actually going to be out. Um, he picked up a tight hand, um, handstring knock, and he's going to be out for two days. Again, is this another... <sighs> I don't I really don't know. I mean, I had a theory in the last episode that a lot of the problems right now in the game, it's it's like, I don't know. One of the big problems I noticed is definitely injuries. There's a ton more injuries uh, this season than there was last season. So from that perspective, it's, it's very, very frustrating because it's hard to get momentum i like to play the same kind of team the same tactics help them bed in quickly to the style of play i want to see them do and unfortunately if there's this many injuries and knocks and niggles and things like that it's gonna be very very tough yeah i understand that preseason is a time to chop and change and get people bedded into a system and style but happen in the middle of the season i mean uh, to this extreme amount I think that's a little little extreme, to be honest. Yeah, we're going to have basically have uh, five players unavailable for today's game, uh, which is a little bit crap, to be honest with you, because even on the worst case scenarios, FM17 didn't really have that many injuries. I mean, I guess I, maybe I got lucky. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you had injury problems so far in FM18, if you experienced some in FM17. Um, obviously, it's just very, very frustrating stuff. But anyway, going into today's game, um, I've made a decision to play Davison Sanchez uh, at centre half. Jan Fertonen is going to come in as a left back. Um, then Musa Dembele is going to come in for Eric Dyer, who unfortunately is going to be out despite being at full training. He's still recovering uh, from that injury midweek. Uh, the rest of the team essentially remains the same. Dali Ali obviously comes in also for Christian Eriksen as well. It's a very like for like change there, and it shouldn't really shouldn't really change the uh, day to day operations. So going up against Man City, they're currently fifth in the table. We are sixth. Take a look at the league table before we kick off today's game. Um, they're above us in goal difference right now. Obviously, it's only four games in, so not much to talk about in that regards. But still, it's going to be a very tough game, I expect. Um, I expect uh, Man City to come out flying against us. They're going to want to get a win because they probably see us, or view us at least, as a title contender. And they're going to want to try and get three points away from home today. So we are playing at home. As you can tell, these are the two lineups. Uh, Man City lining up with a 4-5-1 formation with two wingers. Um, Bernardo Silva and obviously the new sign-in as well, Ivan uh, Perisic, uh, signed for £32.5 million. Pounds. That's a heavy, heavy transfer fee for him. Good player, though. I'm sure he do well. Very, very creative midfield of Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva with uh, the holding midfielder, uh, William Carvalho. Actually, how much did they sign him for? Um, just, just out of interest, uh, 17 million. That's actually not that bad of a deal, to be honest with you. He's a very talented player for that. Um, at the back, Kyle Walker, Danilo, Company Stones. Honestly, at the back, they're actually at the weakest. So if we can take advantage of that today, we might have half a chance of getting a result. All right, so here we go. At home against uh, Man City, let's see if we can make it two wins against the uh, Manchester clubs to start off the season. And obviously, this will make it three wins in a row if we can get a result somehow as well. But here's an early highlight. Let's see who it's going to go to. Uh, Deli Ali, he's been very poor so far this season. Finds Mario Goethe, the Musa Dembele. It's Harry Kane. That's a good save for Edison. Harry Kane. Probably should have been a bit better with the effort there. That was a clear-cut chance, no doubt about it. And unfortunately hit it straight at Edison in goal. All right, here's Kieran Trippier to Mario Goethe to Sun. Back to Dembele there. Finds Trippier. Gets a cross, question mark? But it looks like a shot in the end. Edison had to tip it over the bar, and it goes out for a corner. Now, it's the first time I've seen a corner with his new set-piece tactics. Goethe whips it in, looking for outer wheel wall, but it's cleared at the near post from Vincent Company. And it's uh, probably going to be in the highlight. All right, here's Kim Trippier again to Sun. Sun turns to Harry Kane. Gets in there, my son. What a great cross from Sun. Uh, puts it right on uh, put it, put it right on the plate there for Harry Kane. Beautiful bit of play there. Twisting and turning. Got away from his man. Left foot across. And that's a fantastic finish there from Harry Kane. Uh, so 1-0 on the really, really good start to the game for us. All right, so here's Edison with the goal kick. Sorry, the uh, free kick, I should say. Uh, the ball hits forward out of the Lord. It's going to scoop up the loose play to Hugo Lloris. Lloris is going to carry this out of defense. Boots it forward, looking for Harry Kane. He finds him. Great first touch on Harry Kane. Gets by his man, shoots. Oh, that would have been a wonderful solo effort there from Harry Kane. But unfortunately, he just couldn't find the target. But good build-up play. Well, good build-up play, sorry. But good individual piece of work, I should say, from Harry Kane. 
Uh, here's Bernardo Silva, great tackle left from Wanyama. He's uh, quietly, he has a really good season thus far. Uh, here's Musa Dembele to Sun, to Dali Ali. That's a great through ball. Harry Kane to Kieran Trippier. Oh, Kieran Trippier, that was a good opportunity. It probably should have been 2-0 by now. Kieran Trippier had a golden opportunity to make it 2-0 there. All right, so um, looks like looks like they've uh, been forced to make a change. Fernandinho had to come on for Kevin De Bruyne. Unfortunately, it looks like he actually picked up a knock. So he's going to be out the rest of the game. So that's definitely a bonus for us. Um, I can tell Leicester to keep it going out there because things are going really well, We're creating opportunities. We've limited what Man City can do thus far. And uh, yeah, so far so good, to be honest with you. I'm also going to change to extended highlights because I feel like maybe the key highlights are a little bit too sensitive this season. There's not that many opportunities been generated from key. So we'll try out extended, but if it's too long, I'll switch back to key. But anyway, here's uh, Jan Vertonen at the start of the second half. He's dispossessed by Kyle Walker, who boots it forward to Aguero and Sanchez as well to scoop up the loose play. All right, 47 minutes o'clock. Persic shoots straight at Hugo Lloris, and it's easily saved from the goalkeeper. He's going to boot this ball forward, looking for Harry Kane. Can't find him. Danilo does well to intercept it. Here's uh, Son. Son to Mario Goethe. To Aldo Willard. To Wanyama. Here's Dembele again. It's a Super Mario. Let's see what he see what he can do here. Finds Musa Dembele, finds Sun. It's, out. it's a very very patient play. This is what I like to see. Kind of, I mean, I guess uh, tiki taki football. We want to say it. How we want to pronounce it. Uh, that's what I try and do. Just try and very very slow tempo, build up the attack. And here's a chance then for equalize maybe. And that's a good save from Hugo Lewis. But anyway, yeah, let's play very slow tempo, possession based football. And I feel like we can control the game that way. Uh, we should be able to grind out positive results. That's my philosophy, and I'm going to stick to it, at least in the beta save. That might change when the full game comes out. All right, so let's make a quick change ourselves. But maybe after this highlights, Odomendi has come on for Vincent Company. Uh, here's Persich to Aguero. He's been lively in the second half. He plays it to Bernardo Silva in the box. Oh, and that was a glorious opportunity for Bernardo Silva. It probably should have been 1-1. And here's Bernardo Silva with the corner. Finds uh, Bernardo, shoots, and he goes harmlessly over the bar. That wasn't Bernardo obviously taking that. I was obviously grossly mistaken. So let's make a quick change here. Um, my yard was struggling with fitness a little bit, but I don't really have any enforcers on the bench I can bring on. Perhaps Fellaini can do a good job there. Yeah, we'll bring on Fellaini. It's probably not really a like-for-like like, like, for like swap, but I know Fellaini can do a decent job as a ball in midfielder. So we'll bring him on, give him a bit of a break. And they'll also bring on um, Serge Aria for uh, Kieran Trippier on the right wing as well. Obviously, I do apologize. I am probably still butchering names. I should probably take the time to go and look at how to pronounce it correctly, but honestly, nobody got time for that. So, all right, here's Hugo Lloris. Boots it forward, looking for the run of Mario Guzzo, but he can't find him. Here's Persic. Great block there. Other rewards to Super Mario. Mario hits it long, looking for Kane. Can't find it. Otamendi plays it back to Edison. And again, this is a very, very long highlight here. We are switched to extended, obviously. I, I do keep forgetting I did that. Um, here's Sun. Great tackle there, but falls to Trippier. Back to Sun. He whips it in. Good clear from John Stones. Here's Dembele to Deli Alley to Harry Kane. There it is, 2-0, oh, never mind, it's been disallowed apparently. And it looks like there is a new kind of option to see that again, perhaps. I'm going to skip it just for now, we'll take a look at that at a later time, just because it was one hell of a long highlight, and I don't want to waste any more of your time today. Here's been our server whips it in, good clearance there from Surge, force of Raheem Sterling, ball deflected behind for a corner kick. So I'm thinking of making a tactical change here, just to, uh, just to solidify things up. Uh, to see out this game. That's Dembele with the clearance there, only as far as Silver. Here's Sterling again, has too much space at the edge of the area, and it goes harmlessly wide. So, uh, with that in mind, let's switch a bit more orthodox 4 4 1 1 formation. Um, we can definitely still have wingers, I should say. Serge can be on support instead. Deli Alley, yes, I know you're not a right midfield, left midfielder, but Sun, Sun is. So, Sun could play there. Deli Ali could play in the hole as a playmaker on support. Sun, let me see. So I clicked on that again. Sometimes the, uh, it's very sensitive this game this far, especially on when you click. So how's that? So it could be on Winks for Goto as well. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to Harry Winks. Uh, play him as a winger still. 
Perfect. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, that should be enough to see out the game, just get a bit more solid in front of the back four, help protect them a little bit because uh, Man City have had their chances in the second half. Here's Winks to Kane. Kane to Fellaini. Fellaini to Sun, who got himself in the box. That's a good save from Edison. And he goes behind, looks like for a corner kick. So let's see if this set piece is a work. Winks is going to cross this in, goes to the far post, and uh, Harry Kane uh, can't get in the end of it, and uh, Fellaini as well to scoop up the rebound. Uh, here's Edison, hits it long here. Good header from out of real world, finds Harry Kane. Harry Kane's going to hold up the ball, finds a Deli Alley. Pally has options off to his left, if he can find him, he can't. The ball was intercepted, and here's Serge Aguero. Gets the byline, and it's an easy save there for Hugo Lloris. Not a problem there for the goalkeeper. Making his 175 appearance in the club today, so that's quite a milestone for him. Uh, here's Santa Fellaini uh, to Dembele. Did a little fancy back heel, didn't we? Really didn't really work out. Here's Bernardo Silva cutting in from the right. And I tell you what, they're looking a little bit more dangerous. So I'm thinking I'm going to be changing my tactics again just to try and hold our shape a bit more. Here's Aguero, good save there from uh, Hugo Lovis. I can see the highlights behind. I actually like how the highlights look um, as you're changing the tactics. That's actually pretty good. You can see a little bit behind just to keep an eye on the action. All right, so here's, uh, here's Winks to Dembele, to Deli Alley, to Harry Kane. Good ball to play this is. That's a fantastic fullback. And there's Deli Alley, smacks against the defender. And looks like it's going to go harmlessly wide for a corner kick. So see if we make this corner kick, I feel much better about it if it was 2-0. Who's going to take this? Uh, Winks is going to take this. He's going to whip it in. Near post, terrible corner kick though, and Stones makes the easy clearance. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch back to the key highlights. Again, these highlights are running, again, a little bit too too little too long for my liking. So what we're going to do is we'll switch back to key for now. All right, his uh, tackle there against Harry Kane, Edison, to Kyle Walker, to Bernardo Silva, to Aguero. He's got behind the back line. He shoots into the side netting, and uh, it's going to be uh, the end of that attack. All right, so three minute extra time is over with, and the full time whistle has blown. It is another victory against a Manchester team, and uh, this time up against Man City. Fantastic display all around from the boys. Very, very happy with that, as you would expect. Um, so, right now, we've beaten Manchester United and Man City, perhaps the two teams that will be there up at the end of the season in real life. So, it's very pleasing. Um, to get away with a victory here and that victory does us lift us now up to second place in the table we are two points behind arsenal um obviously we are yet to play arsenal in the league so uh that'd be one definitely it'd be a fantastic uh, north london derby when that time comes around um but as for the next episode let's go ahead and talk about the episode real quick so in the meantime um let me see we've got chelsea and arsenal here that looks very uh, tantalizing fixtures so what i'm gonna do is i am going to do uh, Man City in the League Cup off camera, Bournemouth in the league, Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League, Everton, Huddersfield, and then it's FC Vitoral. We're going to do that off camera. And then uh, you'll join me for episode five up against Chelsea and Arsenal. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, remember to smash like on the button. If you want to see more videos by me in the future, uh, please hit subscribe, turn notifications on. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you.